And we are on air. Hi guys, my name's Brianna and today we're gonna be doing a Christmas haul. So let's get right into the video. So I know you guys might be thinking, it's February. Why is a Christmas haul happening now and not in December or the beginning of January? And there's actually an answer for that. It's not just random or because it got pushed off or anything like that. One of the gifts from my boyfriend, or rather two of the gifts from him for Christmas, he didn't realize that one of them was a pre-order and because they were ordered together, he had to wait for both of them. So I wanted to wait until those were delivered to do this video so that I could show everything. So now that that's cleared up, let's get into the haul. So I'm gonna roughly go in the order I received things. So that means we are starting with Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, we normally see my dad's side of the family. This year we did not. If you watched my vlogs, you would know that. But we did open the presents from my dad's side of the family on Christmas Eve. So that's what we're starting with. From my grandparents, I got a hair straightener. Obviously, I didn't use it today because my hair is a little poofy, but I'm obsessed with it. I've been using it a lot. Today just happens to be one of the days that I didn't use it. I have been really wanting a straightener since I moved out on my own and I didn't have one anymore because I shared one with my mom. So really happy to get this. And then my grandparents also got me this tiny Taylor Swift perfume, a sample size and a small bottle. And this is my favorite perfume so I was really happy to get this. Then from my uncle Brian I got this planner. It is super cute. It has flowers and a honey combs and bees all over it and flowers on the back and I'm not going to show you the inside because I already wrote some personal things in it but it is super cute. I'll show you this part. It has a little layout of all the dates in the year so if I wanted to highlight special days I could. I just wrote my important information on the actual month by month pages but it has the calendar and then on the side it has a little thing to write any goals or to-do list or whatever so you can check it off. Goals for the month. I really like that. And after all of that, all the month to month pages, there's a little space in the back to write more notes for passwords or contacts or important dates to remember. So I really like it. I am obsessed and I've been using it a lot so far. And with that as well, he got me a set of pens. I've been using them so they're kind of all over so I didn't find all of them. But here are a few of them just so you can see they're like these two-toned pens so none of them match actually but they do kind of match with each other so uh, you can see all the color options and there's like opposites of each of them so like here's a green one there's another pen somewhere where the bottom of it is green and that kind of thing I really like them I really love pens I don't know if that's something you guys know about me or not and then one thing from my parents for Christmas Eve was Christmas pajamas I put all my Christmas stuff away already so I don't have those readily accessible but if you check out my Christmas Eve or Christmas vlog you can see the pajamas there they're super cute and that's just a tradition we have we always do pajamas for Christmas Eve and then lastly for Christmas Eve is from my mom she got me a printout of the music sheet for lullaby which is a song she used to sing to me when I was a kid so it's really sentimental and special now that brings us to Christmas Day from my parents, I got three of the editions for Midnights by Taylor Swift. The original Moonstone vinyl I got for myself and the Target limited edition lavender one I got for myself, but the three other limited editions my parents got for me. So there's the jade green one, and I'll show you guys the actual vinyl itself. So pretty, I love it. Then we have the Blood Moon edition, another gorgeous vinyl, and then the mahogany edition. So pretty. Ugh. So those ones will all get hung up, but if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that me and my family take a while to do things. We're procrastinators, so 
eventually it'll get done. Some of the things I got for Christmas that are for hanging up are hung up already, but just not these. And the backs of these, if you guys don't know, go together to make a clock. That will also eventually get set up too. Then moving on to From My Brothers. From Aiden, first we have this adorable Christmas cat plushie. I am obsessed. I love that the ears are two different colors and I love that it's got snowflakes and stuff. Really cute. And then a gingerbread Iron Man, which I think is so cute as well. And I've been debating if I should display it in the box or if I should take it out. So comment down below what you think. And then from Wyatt, we get a pink dino plushie. I think it's super adorable and I love that it's like a galaxy on the stomach. Obsessed. And then backgammon. I'll be honest, every single time I play this game, I have to reread the rules on how to play. But now that I actually have my own one of it, I have I've been playing a little bit more often, so I think I'm finally catching on, so we'll see. Now we got things from Santa Claus. We've got a hair dryer, which just like the straightener, I have been wanting a hair dryer since I moved. Literally, I've always been having my hair air dry, and it's really frustrating because anytime I want to film a video, but I have to shower first, I have to wait for my hair to dry, or if I'm going to go out, I have to go out with wet hair, or I have to shower so so much earlier. Now I have a hair dryer that solves a world of problems. And then we got lightsaber chopsticks. They do glow. I am obsessed. You can have them match, you can have them be two different colors, whatever. I am obsessed with these. It's so cool. And then a Scorpio Zodiac crystal set. It has six raw crystals in it. It has smoky quartz, sodalite, labradorite, amethyst, rose quartz, quartz and citrine and some of these I had a raw form of already but some of them I didn't so it's really good I always love getting different types of samples of different crystals and I got two chakra bracelets one just simple plain one and one that has a little paw print charm as well super cute also from Santa I got this sage kit it has a little stand a shell a flower and there's a few few sets of sage, I just only have one out with it. And that's really cool. I've never actually burned sage, only been around when my mom was burning sage, so that's interesting to try out. Then a leather notebook. I haven't used it yet because I really, really love it and I want to like use it for something special. So I haven't decided what to use it for yet. So let me know if you have any ideas. A cat zodiac puzzle, which I actually put together on Christmas, if you want to see that in my Christmas vlog. Then another puzzle. It's called the sadness of Gaia. It's like a glittery goddess. It's a thousand pieces It's so pretty, but I know it's gonna be really difficult to put together So I haven't done it yet, but I, I'm really excited to do it when I find the time to sit down and actually get it done So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a video of that or not. I don't know. Maybe and then we got this Collapsible laundry baskets. There's two of them. I only have one here right now because the other one is in use but these are super helpful because when I'm not using them I just fold them up and I put them in the bathroom the laundry baskets I was using previous to that they were hand-me-down laundry baskets from my parents so of course I'm gonna use those and not go out and buy more convenient ones but they're big and bulky and took up a lot of space in my apartment and my apartment's already pretty small so this is much better it's super thin so I could just prop them against each other just against the wall I have like a little space in my bathroom that fits them perfectly so that's good. Then the next thing that I got was a puzzle table. I would show you except it's kind of really heavy to bring over and prop up and show you but I really really love it. It has a border on it so the pieces don't go flying and things like that and it has drawers so you can organize the pieces and only have out the section you're focusing on. It's brilliant but if you guys want to see what it looks like you can check out my Christmas vlog. It's like I said I did use it in that vlog. Then the next thing I can't show you here because it's hung up on the wall, but I will include a clip. It's this cat moon shelving piece. I really like it. I think it's 
pretty, it matches my vibe, and I put a bunch of stuff on it already, you guys can see that too. But on the shelf, the one clear quartz tower, I also got from Santa for Christmas. And then lastly from Santa, I got Nightmare Before Christmas socks, I got a set of them. Those are already like in use, I would have to find them, whether they're in my laundry basket or put away, whatever, I'm not going searching for them. But I am wearing a pair of them now, so I'll show you guys, you can see they're pretty cute, it's got like Jack and Sally over here, but each sock is different color and a different design and different characters, so they're super cute. Now we got gifts from my boyfriend's parents, which is super sweet that they even got me anything at all, I really, really appreciate it. They got me a set of four candles, so we got this one here and this one here, I haven't used these ones yet. If I remember correctly, because I don't have the packaging anymore, this one was like some kind of mint or eucalyptus or something like that and this one is lavender the other two I have used quite a bit already this one is rose and this one is lemon I really 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 love the lemon one so I'm trying to use it sparingly because I'm gonna be so sad when it's finished but and then the other thing from them was a kit to make alcoholic jello shots but gummy bear shaped obviously I don't have the full kit anymore because I used it but I still have have the molds for them and the little dropper thing so if I get more jello I can remake this anytime I want so that's super fun and now we're on to from my boyfriend so this might seem like simple and silly for Christmas but I'm always breaking my chargers so he got me a iPhone charger and he got me two blankets this one has mushrooms on it and it says like groovy along it and it's so fuzzy and I love it and then this one it's like the same brand and so it's like the same amount of fuzziness and the same size and it has rainbows all over it super cute and then we got a bunch of puzzles we have this abstract fruit thousand piece puzzle this mindful puzzle 500 pieces we have this textured puzzle 48 pieces this one was so cute I actually put this together on Christmas as well so you can see that in my Christmas vlog we have a leaning tower of Pisa puzzle 500 pieces and then a Park Avenue New York City puzzle 500 pieces I put Put this one together in a video with Wyatt if you guys want to check that out. Pictionary, which we've been playing a lot of Pictionary on my channel so he thought it would be fun instead of having to do it ourselves. We'd have an actual game of it so that was super thoughtful. And then that leaves us with the two gifts from him that we had to wait to come in the mail. First one is the Lover Vinyl which would have come by Christmas if you didn't order it with the next gift because that was a pre-order but the lover vinyls are so pretty I will include a clip because they're not in here I have them set up on my wall with my lavender edition of midnights I have them together because they're all like Target exclusives so I thought that was super cute to put them all together in a row and I put them in the order to make like the bisexual flag colors so I love it I think it's super cute and then we have the midnight puzzle. It is the clock that I will be having on my wall eventually. It's 500 pieces and this was the present that he didn't realize it was a pre-order and it wasn't gonna even ship until the end of January and then we didn't even get it till like mid-February. So this was a Christmas gift but I didn't get it until just now and like I said the only reason I didn't get the lover vinyl till now is because he ordered it with this and so they shipped together once this was released but this is such a good gift because I am obsessed with puzzles I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift put them together perfect so I'm really excited to do this one it's probably gonna be the next puzzle that I do but I do have a bunch of puzzles here so who knows but comment down below if you do want to see any of these puzzles done in a video as well and you can comment specific puzzles or whatever let me know what you're interested in and now we are moving on from Christmas Day and moving to mini Christmas or fake Christmas which is the Christmas that we have after Christmas with my mom's side of the family so from my uncle Brian and aunt Sabra we have a hash truck. My brothers have been getting hash trucks from them every single year for Christmas and I have always made little comments to my mom like oh why do they get hash trucks just because they're boys. I love hash trucks. I really want a hash truck. Every year I make a little comment and I'm like I'm not actually upset about it. I'm just like uh, why didn't I get a hash truck you know. So little did I know that this year my mom decided to tell them. So this was like a huge surprise. We always know that the gifts from them are 
for my brother's R. Hesh Chucks. So when they are passing out the gifts, you know, you can tell which one is from them because the size of the box is always the same, even if it's wrapped. So they're passing out the gifts, whatever, and my mom picks up a Hesh Truck box. I can tell it's a Hesh Truck box. And she goes, here, for you. And I was so surprised. It was such a good surprise. I really, really love it. I love Hesh Trucks. And I mean, I do wish I had a full collection like my brother's, but I will be satisfied with just one for now. And then from my grandparents, we have this. I'm going to try and show you very delicately. It's this book. Let me lift the ribbon so you guys can see. It says, I love you to the moon and back, which is like my thing with my grandparents. When I was a kid, we always used to say it and then it just stuck forever. Her friend actually made this. I think it's absolutely incredible and so, so, so cool. The actual book is The Sunshine Sisters by Jane Green, but obviously I can't like read it like this. This is more like to display, but it's so cool. And then they also got me this crystal tree, which is so pretty. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cool. It has a bunch of different kinds of crystals and it has little crystal bits on the base of it as well. And they also got me the pieces to turn the backs of the vinyl covers into a clock. So as soon as we get around to setting that up, that'll be super cool. And then up on the shelf, so I will include a clip again, are these tiny little elephant crystals. They're so adorable. I don't have that many crystal sculptures, so that was really exciting to get and I think they're so cute. And that concludes mini Christmas or fake Christmas. And the last gift is from my Aunt Jamie and Uncle Michael. I actually have no idea when I received this. My parents got it from them. I didn't get it directly from them. And then my parents gave it to me like a while after Christmas because they just kept forgetting that they had it in their car. So it is another puzzle, a thousand pieces. It's called Simple Succulents. I think it's super cute. Another one I'm really excited to do. And once again, leave a comment if I should do it as a video. But yeah, besides candy and things like that, this is all the things that I got for Christmas. Comment down below what you guys got for Christmas and what you want for Christmas next year. Or this year, rather, now that we're in the new year. <laughs> but yeah, for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!